If you just opened your Etsy print on demand shop and you had to add a listing in order to get through the shop creation process and now you don't know what to do with that listing, then I am here to help. All right, so we just opened our Etsy shop and we have this one listing. We used it kind of as a dummy listing just to get through that opening shop process. And now we need to know what to do with it. Well, I mentioned in my video on opening your shop that you can simply go to the settings gear here and choose to deactivate this listing. That'll move it down to your inactive listings and get it out of public view. Now you can do that with the intention of never using this listing ever again. And if you use the referral link to open your shop, then you do get 40 free listings. So you didn't lose any money. You didn't lose the 20 cents on this listing. So it's not a big deal if you never use it. But if you still wanna get your 20 cents worth out of this listing, I'm gonna show you how you can use either Printify or Printful to replace the information in this listing and actually get a real product listing that will sync to either account, no matter which platform you use. We're gonna start with the process for Printify. So first, what we wanna do is make sure we have a product that we've created as a draft in our Printify account that we want to use for this listing. It can be any product, it really doesn't matter because we can change everything about this listing when we go edit it. My only recommendation is that just for this one listing, because we are manually going to go through and have to update everything, including the product variants, I wouldn't recommend using a product that has a lot of different variants because that just makes more work for you. So if you've got a simple product like a t-shirt where you're only offering a couple of colors or maybe a mug or something like that where you only have one or two product variants, that would be the easiest thing to go and use this listing for. Now I have a draft of a t-shirt here with our POD Insights logo. So a POD Insights merch t-shirt here. And I'm just gonna open that listing in Printify. We're gonna borrow some information from this listing, but the most important thing when it comes to syncing up your product variants with Printify is the SKU number, because that is how Printify is going to identify an incoming order for a product that you've created using Printify. Now where you find that information is by going down to the product variant section and using the arrows to expand each one. And you'll see next to the color option for each size, there is a SKU number. This is the information we're going to need to include in our listing so that when an order comes through, it will sync to your Printify account. So we'll come back here in just a moment, but first I'm gonna grab some information that I want to use in my description. So I'm just going to, and we can always edit it after, but I'm just gonna copy this part and let's go back to our listing and open this listing so we can start editing it. Okay, so I don't lose it. I'm just gonna scroll down to the description here and drop that in. Now let's go back to the mockups. So how do we get our mockups in here even though we're not gonna be publishing that listing from Printify over to Etsy? First of all, delete this default mockup, whatever image you used when you created this, get that out of there. Now come back to Printify and let's go to the edit design option and we will go into our preview view. From here, take any of the mockups that you want by simply right-clicking on the image and downloading it. If you don't have a design on the back, you do not need the blank image of the back of the t-shirt. You can also use the built-in mockups for the two individual people wearing the t-shirt. However, I don't recommend using it with the plain white background. I would recommend editing this mockup so that it actually looks better and has a background. But the bottom line is I definitely recommend that in addition to the plain flat mockups of your product options, you take the time to create some high quality mockups. And a fantastic source for high quality mockups is Placeit. They do have a free account so that you don't need to pay for anything. All you need to do is go to their t-shirt mockup section if we were making a t-shirt here and then filter this or sort it by the free options. And this will bring to the top of the list all of their free t-shirt mockups. And then all we need to do from there is upload our graphic and make sure we have the color option that matches our product listing. And we will have a mock-up that looks more like this than those standard plain background or a white background mock-ups. It looks much more professional and we can still zoom in on this on our primary thumbnail so the image on the uh, the t-shirt is nice and large. Once you have all the mock-ups you need, come back to your listing and we are going to add those now. Another item you're gonna to wanna to have in your photos is a size chart. And I have a whole video just about how to create nice looking size charts for your Etsy listings. So again, I'll link to that in the corner now and I'll put it in the description. Here's an example of a very nice looking size chart you can make yourself for free with a free Canva account. And once you've created it, you can use it on all of your listings. Okay, so we have our mockups loaded. Don't overlook this option to adjust the thumbnail. I mentioned it a second ago, you definitely wanna click on this and use the slider here to zoom in on the product design. So do whatever you need to do to make this big, bold, and obvious in the thumbnail image. 
because this is the first thing that potential customers will see in search results or in your shop's homepage. Okay, we've got our mockups done now and we've adjusted our thumbnail. Now we can come down and make sure that your title is still relevant. So this is still relevant for me. I'm gonna change this to POD Insights logo t-shirt. You can definitely include more than one keyword string or long tail keyword in here. This is where keyword research really comes into play. Your title and your tags are the most important two factors when it comes to being found in search results. I use a tool called Sales Samurai for all of my Etsy keyword research for my title and my tags. That is a paid tool, but you can also use a tool called eRank, which has a free account. I cover that as well in that Etsy free resources video. And I also have videos that I've done about Sales Samurai. So I will include a link to one of those videos in the description as well. Now in this one, we had already set up these three dropdowns correctly to another company, a finished product and made to order. So we don't need to touch that. The category you will want to change if this is different than what you originally put in there. But for right now, we have t-shirts and that's correct. Now again, we don't need to use any of these optional fields. Um, unless you're making a product specific for one holiday, you can select that there. I don't usually do that. Clothing style, I, I find that most of these don't fit a lot of my print on demand design, so I don't touch those. I do usually enter the sleeve length, so this is a short sleeve and the neckline is crew, so I usually select those even though they're optional. I'm gonna leave my renewal option as manual because if this does not sell for four months, I want the option to take a look at it and maybe consider not relisting it instead of automatically getting charged 20 cents for it to be relisted. I, again, have a whole separate video about considering these two renewal options, so check that out if you have questions about why you would want to select either one. Okay, we're back to the description. So we have POD Insights t-shirt that was in there before. Always want to put a good description of your design and the product first in your description field. Etsy does not index you on search based on your description, but Google does. So if somebody finds one of your listings off-site through searching on Google, you, you still want to make sure you have the right keywords in here that go with your listing and your product and the graphic that's in your design. But as far as being found in Etsy search, this is not the number one priority. It definitely is still something where you want to tell the customer about the product though, because if a customer goes to the description looking for information, you want it to be there. So put in a description of the design and then we had already pasted in here the uh, the general description that Printify gives us for this type of a, of a t-shirt. In this case, we had already created Printify as a production partner, so we can check that box or leave it checked if it was already checked and we don't have to add anything here, so we can move on. The tags I mentioned earlier are very, very important for being found in search. So any relevant long tail keywords that also go with your product that you would want to be indexed on, you definitely wanna use all 13 of these tags for that. For example, if my channel actually was popular enough that people wanted merch for POD Insights, then they might be searching on Etsy for something like POD Insights merch. And so I'm gonna use that as one of my tags. And this is where one of those research tools like Sales Samurai or E-Rank can really help you identify other long tail keywords and phrases that customers are actively searching for that might be applicable for your product so that you can include them in your tags. Now for price, we can leave that because we're about to go add some variations of this product. For quantity, I'm gonna change this to 999 so that this can renew every time it sells instead of going into the sold out category. You can ignore SKU for right now. We do need SKU numbers, but it, there's more than one. So we need to put that under variations. So click on add variations. And this is where we're gonna add the size and color options. Now I like to use the all the way at the bottom option of creating a new variation because these default ones that Etsy provides have some limitations as far as what they say and the text that they use. So I like to just create one from scratch and do create new. So for this one, we're going to say size is our option here. So we'll put size and then we'll add a second variation for color. Okay, so we've got our two variations, size and color. Now we need to add the options. Under size, what we wanna do is check the box for prices vary for each size and SKUs vary for each size. And under color, what we want to do is select SKUs vary for each color. Let's enter all of our sizes and color options. Do that simply by adding them in here and hitting enter or click the add button. And you can use whatever naming conventions you like. If you prefer to say 2X, 3X for the, the extra larges, that's fine. Just put in whatever you think makes the most sense. And now enter your different color options. I believe I had a black and a navy. And now there's going to be a different SKU number for each combination. So you can already see, even with just two color options, you have six sizes and two colors. So that's going to be 12 SKU numbers that we need to copy and paste into this in just a moment. So now click save and continue. 
And here we go. Now you have an option for small black, small navy, medium black, medium navy, and so on. And that's exactly what we need. Let's set our prices first, and then we'll get all these SKU numbers from Printify. I find it easy to use this checkbox in the left-hand corner and do select all, and then just come down and deselect the double X and triple X sizes. I do the same pricing all the way up to size extra large. For t-shirts, I usually start with a price of $19.99. And pricing strategy is a whole separate video, so we're not really gonna get into that now. We're just gonna set some prices here. For the 2XL sizes, wanna select all of those variations and then click update price. And for triple X, do the same. Just make sure that these prices coincide with your cost. And again, that's a whole separate topic of reviewing your cost and profit margins. And I highly recommend an, using an Etsy fee calculator like the Allura Etsy fee calculator to figure out the exact price to get you to the profit margin that you want. All right, now the tedious part. We've got all of our variations and all of our sizes in here. We need to get these SKU numbers populated because the SKU numbers are what is going to tell Printify which variant to import the order for. So it's, it's the most important part here if we want the orders to automatically sync with Printify. And the easiest way I think of doing this is setting up these browser windows side by side so that you've got one right next to the other. And then you can, that way you can just scroll down and go copy paste and you can put, doesn't matter which side each one is on, but we're starting with these small sizes. So small black and small navy. So on the Printify listing, scroll down to the variations and then view details for the small. And this should bring up a view like this where you can view the SKU numbers for both color options in size small. So here's the black small SKU number. Highlight that, copy it, bring it over to our Etsy listing, find small black, go into the SKU field and paste. Same for navy, copy it from there, paste it over here. And then we're gonna repeat this process for all of the other size and color combinations. And there we go. We have the SKU numbers completed for all of our variations. So we're almost done with this listing. The last thing to do is figure out the shipping profile. Now, if you've already published any products from any print-on-demand platform, it, it's likely that they pushed over all of their shipping profiles or at least one shipping profile. In fact, some platforms actually upload all of their shipping profiles to your account right when you complete that integration between your Etsy account and your platform. As you can see, all of the Printful shipping profiles and even the Gelato print files are already in here because those are uploaded to your account as soon as you complete that integration. But we use Printify for this one. So if we have a t-shirt shipping profile that we use for all of our t-shirts because we use Printify for all of our t-shirts, that's the one you're going to look for on this list and select. If this is the first listing that you're publishing in your Etsy account uh, using Printify, then you're going to want to create a new shipping profile that you can use for all of your t-shirt listings. You just wanna make sure that the ship from zip code, the shipping method, the processing time, and the estimated shipping time is accurate based on the Printify provider that you're going to be using. Now I have a shipping profile in here that's just for t-shirts. So even if this were to get published from one of my platforms and come through with a different profile assigned, I like to change it to t-shirts and I do free domestic shipping for t-shirts. So that's the option I'm gonna select for this one. And that's it. We're ready to hit the publish button and update this listing. And now it will be a valid product that will sync with your Printify account when an order comes in. But what about if we were using Printful, not Printify for this? Well, the process works a little bit differently, but a lot of it is the same. So you would start the exact same way by going into this listing, opening it in your listing editor, and then upload all of the mockups that you want to use for your listing, including a size chart. You would continue down the exact same way to update your title, update the category if needed, add your description. And when it gets to here, if you haven't added Printful as a production partner yet, this is where you're going to want to add a new production partner and put Printful in here. And Printful's location information on their contact us form indicates they are in Charlotte, North Carolina for their headquarters. So we're going to put that in here. And for our about production partner, you can put basically the same thing that you did when you added Printify, if you had them in there first. If you don't have anybody in there yet, then you can simply add a sentence like, Printful helps me with local order production and shipping. And then answer the questions that only are reported to Etsy down below. So you have three questions to answer here. So you're gonna wanna select you don't have the equipment to make the product, you design everything yourself, and that they do everything for me when it comes to the uh, order fulfillment process, and then click Save Partner. So now we've got Printful and we can switch to Printful and uncheck Printify. Of course, do your tags. Of course, do all 13 of your tags. 
When you get down to inventory now, we're gonna still put 999 in here, and we're still gonna create variations like we did before. However, we don't need to worry about SKU numbers because the way we match up our product information here about our variations to Printful works differently than it does with Printify. We're just gonna select the option that prices vary by size and then add our two color options and have that done. Now this will actually separate your size and your color options because the pricing for each size and color combination is the same and they don't have different SKU numbers that we need to worry about like Printify. So all we need to do is set a price by size and that's it. We don't have to do anything else with the variations right now. So scroll down, make sure you've got your correct shipping profile and that's it. Now we're ready to hit publish. And now you're wondering, but wait a minute, we didn't actually do anything to make sure Printful knows which variation to import for each order, right? You're right, we haven't done that part yet. So now's the part where we come to our Printful account. All right, the first thing we need to do in our Printful account is actually come down in the left menu on our dashboard and go to the settings option here and then select the orders sub option. And on that page, scroll down until you find the sync as you go section. What we want to do is check the box for import existing products. I believe the default is for that box to not be checked. So you wanna make sure this box is checked, import existing products, and then scroll down till you see the save button and hit save. What that option will do is allow you to see unsynced product listings in your Printful account. Now we're ready to go to our stores page and then locate your Etsy shop and click on view store. Now, if you haven't created any Printful products yet, you won't see anything here. Or if you have, you should see all of your synced uh, Printful items in your Etsy shop. But because we just changed that setting to show unsynced items, we're going to need to refresh the data from our shop. So click on that link right above the add product button. And now you should see that unsynced item and it's actually showing up under a new tab under uh, not synced up here, but it should also be on your all tab. And as you can see, it's letting us know that this is a product that's active in our Etsy shop, but there are 12 not synced product variants. So just click on that listing. And now what we can do is scroll through each of these individual product variants and select the choose product button in order to sync up a product variant for it. For example, the first item that shows here is the large black option. So click on choose product and locate the t-shirt that you want for this listing. In this case, it is a t-shirt. Otherwise, select the correct product. And this one was a Bella Canvas 3001 t-shirt, so we're gonna select that one. And this option we're selecting is only for the large black variant. So make sure we have the correct color chosen here. The default here looks like it was black heather, so make sure we have the correct black option. And then large was the one we're working on. Now you need to add your product design. So click on this drop your design here and upload your design. Now get your design centered and sized appropriately based on your mock-ups and the product that you are intending to create. Once you're satisfied with that, click on continue and it will sync that product print file and color variation along with, the, uh, with your Etsy shop. Now from there, simply repeat the process for each variation. And when you click on the next one to choose product, you will see that it does pull forward your print file. So you don't have to do that part of the process again. It should pull forward the placement and the sizing information. So all we have to do in this case is change this one. This one was a large navy. So make sure we've picked the right color in here. We don't have to change the size because it was already on large and continue. Now simply repeat that process for all of the remaining variants and you will have synced all of those product options with your Etsy listing. And after you've completed this, any orders that you receive on that listing will automatically sync with your Printful account. And that's it. So that's how you use either Printify or Printful to repurpose that original listing you created when you opened your Etsy shop so that this listing doesn't go to waste. If you thought this video was helpful, I'd appreciate it if you could hit that like button and subscribe to the POD Insights channel to see more of our videos. Thanks everybody. See you next time.